What is up everyone, this is Mogam here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0 for the PlayStation 5 update that's been happening currently. So I know a lot of people have been getting this error, they've been asking like, <laughs> how do I fix this, what do I do? So I'm going to kind of show you what to do step by step on getting this error resolved. So let's get right into this. So the first thing is you want to make sure your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, and we are going to be basically entering safe mode. Now this is a place where you basically do some backend stuff into the PlayStation by like rebuilding the database or fixing the software itself to basically ensure this update gets installed so the way you enter is you hold the power buttons for about eight to ten seconds until you hear two beeps sadly my PlayStation 4 is kind of crappy you don't really hear any beeps at all so I just do a little bit in my own head until eight to ten seconds pass and I kind of let go um, once that kind of happens, you'll see it, as you can see on the screen, the safe mode basically pops up. And a lot of people usually get confused here. You can't enter safe mode or use it without having a USB uh, charger basically connect to your controller. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you press the PlayStation button and you're basically good to go. So the few, there's a few things we're going to do in here. So first, we're going to try to do update system software. And we're going to do number three, update using internet. So this is basically updating it without any USB, without anything. And you can see the latest version is right there. And you're basically able to update it from here. A lot of times when you're updating it from the console itself, it crashes for some reason. This is usually the safer method to do it from. For people who it crashes for, you want, want to try this method. Now, if this doesn't work for you, what you're going to have to do is, oh, I double clicked it by accident. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a USB device and basically update your PlayStation 4 from that. I have a video on how to do this. I will leave it in the description below, but it's a similar method. You follow a little bit more complex using a PC, downloading the update, naming it a specific uh, file, having it a specific format, and then updating it from there. Now, if you try those two methods and for some reason it still doesn't work for you, you're going to have to actually do initialize your PlayStation 4. This is going to suck, but this actually deletes everything off of your PlayStation 4. So I do apologize for this. This is a last resort. So try those two methods first before going down this route. If initializing PlayStation 4 doesn't work, you might have to do number seven, which is the same thing, but with a USB device instead of basically the PlayStation itself reinitializing it. So you're going to connect the USB. And again, I have a video on this also that contains an update file for reinstallation. Again, this one is like a hard reset to your PlayStation 4. It'll delete everything and basically make it out of the box per se and this should essentially resolve the error and make it good to go and you should get, you should be good to go so yeah this is basically what you got to do to kind of fix that error again try this as a last resort method i apologize this is i know it sucks <laughs> but this is the last resort method um so yeah that's basically it if you guys overall like this video please smash that like button helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that more gaming out peace